bored. Maybe I just want a little more excitement in my life. So I, uh, so I joined the cult. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? A big extravagant neighborhood in this big huge house and he he told her he was a very um, popular photographer I was just very 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 nervous very scared I was specifically um, curious about the prophecies where they come from do they come from God do they come from the devil you went into my bedroom and she got in the corner and she crawled up in kind of a fetal position and she starts uh, uh, like a woman having a baby. She started telling us that she was travailing in the spirit, birthing souls into God's kingdom. I was woke up with an audible voice and it was my beloved Yeshua and he said, you are my ring maiden. So I woke up with the most intense labor and I literally had to give birth to that prophecy. Woman knows what labor is. was like a aphrodisiac of some sort just made her manic she just went wild when she got money. money is like oxygen it's probably the most important thing in the world to her and it's what she is going to revolve every effort in her life around we're selling that anointing Austin told him i wanted my money and she said i told him i don't care what it's invested in it's simply about manipulating people manipulating situations using everybody and everything around her to her own ends. Tell you what, someone could actually live that building by your, um, by your swimming pool. Oh. I mean, it's huge. I'm confused. That Do you not live at that house? Not many people know this. We've been living in a $6 million mansion, um, you know, my husband and I. Really? Do, do your followers know? Um, but anyway... My love I have for Elizabeth, you. Say you love Elizabeth, me. Elizabeth, enough. listen. Look, you gotta stop this. Please don't leave me. God did not tell you that we were soulmates. Pardon? Well, we're not soulmates. Um, it is not but, in listen, the... how many of your flock members do you have? A lot of them. Okay, okay, you tell every single one of them when you told me about how this religion thing you're doing is a joke to you and I'll consider going out with you. Shut up! Well, that was kind of creepy there. I better go. Oh, why? <laughs> I said I'd email you later. We love each other so much. I didn't say that. Would you please? Look, you said God told you I loved you, but I didn't say that. You are like a... Why are you? You must, um, please email me. I know that you're there. Yeah, listen. What can I do for you? look. You are a married woman, okay? Wow. I'm not interested. You're married. But what? I, what have I done? I'm not answering next time. Do not call back. Please leave a message at the tone. I told my husband, I, I actually pity him. He's no husband. My husband has had two f***ing words. Please leave a message at the tone. I didn't know you had the ability to do this. You started searching for other d You started loving the f***ing bunch. Please leave a message at the tone. You laugh right now, but what happens if this is your last breath? If you get killed in an automobile accident or you don't wake up, fucked up, or Satan is the only one that can make sure you're safe, you need to be killed. <laughs> you think it's an accident, but it's not. You do not have a clue. It's too late. You better run. Bye. <laughs> I knew it was a matter of time before God told her take something from me my house pray for a house so the we are supposed to have a house in your place you have a house and yeshua says get out so the yeshua sends us that way so you need a larger home get out 
Sharon had this rule that you had to read extra writing, things that she said that that scripture meant. So pretty soon you're not really reading it for yourself. She's just using it as a tool and twisting it to find a way to manipulate you. Who is your family? Satan and his evil works because that's not your real family. Trying to get the guardianship taken away. Sharon had him convinced that I was going to kill him. That if I couldn't have him, that I wouldn't let anybody else have him. It was purchased uh, for 3.5 million. Um, she, she lived here secretly. Nobody knew she, she, she was here. Now, we have to ask ourselves, why does a leader of a religious organization have to live in such uh, plushness? From people who've given money and who've been supporting the house, couldn't believe the, the, you know, the luxury in which she lived because she always told people she had no interest in material things. Now, um, before it was bought, there were secret meetings held around the country where followers were handpicked to attend meetings. Millions of pounds were pledged. One particular meeting outside Mullingar, 1.8 million was pledged. And at the end of that meeting, people were asked to sign a cheque. Many have wondered why they haven't seen Elizabeth Elijah. Some suspect that she died or she's bedridden at home, very sick. Yet, I tend to believe that she's alive and well, lurking the streets of Ireland, going to the local bookstores, reading up on her favorite topics. If you saw her today, you might not even recognize her anymore. After all, the pictures that you've seen are 20 to 30 years old. She could be right in front of you one day and you would never know. No, 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 no. The spirit of Yahshua, as it came to you in her flesh. Children, they are instructed to not take worldly jobs. I am able to provide for them by supplying their needs to my other children. Will you offer your homes, your finances, or will you close your eyes as another mother's blood will be required of your hands? You have been silent too long. Now is not the time to test Yahweh and Yahshua. Again, I send this apostle handmaiden to warn you. Judgment falls. This handmaiden, daughter of the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Yahshua HaMashiach, Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya.